OK, I'm going to sit here for a minute quietly. I think I'm being recorded. This is Shannon Kringen in Seattle. It is now January 24th, 2021. I had a bad experience buying a mattress. Uh, I bought it on Capitol Hill, Seattle from a place called Mattress Firm. To make a long story short, it's a foam mattress. And after a few months of me sleeping on it every night, after I noticed that I would wake up feeling hot in the middle of the night, I thought it had something to do with me, but my old mattress never did that. There's mold on the mattress after having it for just a few months and they won't give me a refund or store credit or an exchange. They will do nothing for me. So I spent $300 on a mattress and it doesn't breathe. So if you buy a foam mattress, you're going to have to air it out every night, apparently. So I wiped it down with vinegar. There's like a spot on the back of it underneath it. It's about this big of speckly gray mold and it's damp. And I took the cover off and washed it in my washing machine with non-toxic unscented soap and also white vinegar. I put a little bit of bleach on it, but I don't like using bleach because that's toxic. So I washed it again with white vinegar and unscented biodegradable soap that I like to use because I don't like using toxic chemicals. So I had an old, I had, a, I got a new 10 years ago, I got a box spring mattress from a different company and it never got moldy. And I have it wrapped in a fabric container that keeps it clean and dry and fresh. So I'm washing both of those containers now that wrap, that seal and wrap the mattress. Thankfully, I kept my old mattress. So I'm gonna sleep on my old mattress. So Mattress Firm on Capitol Hill in Seattle, I'm not happy with them as a company. I think they should give me store credit or an exchange. They should pick up my old moldy mattress and give me another one that's the same, but they won't do that because they will lose $300. I lost $300 from buying from them. So I am now letting the old mattress air out and dry out. I wiped it with white vinegar. I put a little bit of bleach on it, that's gross. And so I used white vinegar instead and I'm letting it air out and dry. And then I might try sleeping on it again since I can't get it refunded or exchanged at the mattress firm on Capitol Hill in Seattle. Just to let you know, anybody who might want to buy a mattress from Mattress Firm Capitol Hill, Seattle, if anything goes wrong with your mattress, they will not give you a refund or an exchange or store credit, apparently, which I think is unfair. I wish that I had bought it at Costco because Costco has a very fair return policy, although customers could abuse the return policy at Costco. But at Costco, if you buy something and it gets moldy or something happens that's wrong, they will, they will give you a refund or store credit or exchange it for a new one. So I wish, and if I had known at the time that Costco has these kind of mattresses, which I saw that they do, I would have gotten it at Costco. So I regret buying a mattress from Mattress Firm on Capitol Hill. If you ever buy a foam mattress, they don't breathe. You might wake up in the middle of the night sweaty. Honestly, I thought it was because I'm a 52 year old woman, but I still have my period. Sorry if that's too much information, but that's just reality. But that's not the case. What the case is, is that the other mattress I had never got moldy and this one did just within a few months. So what I'm doing now is washing and drying the two covers that I have, and I'm going to sleep on my old mattress that I kept, which is perfectly good. It was just starting to sag a little bit in the center, and I thought I needed a fresh mattress. I regret buying a new mattress. I will never again buy one of these foam mattresses. They're nice and easy to transport because they roll up like into a, like a taco shape in a, in a box, so they're easier to move than a box spring but they don't breathe. It's like sleeping on plastic or polyester. So I regret it because I don't get sweaty on my old box spring mattress, but I do get sweaty on this new mattress. They told me I had a moisture problem, so they can't do anything for me. 
So this is just a video documenting my negative experience with Mattress Firm on Capitol Hill, who does not have a good exchange return policy. There, I got that off my chest. It's not a big tragedy, it's a small irritation, but I will never again buy anything from them. And ever since I bought something from them, they've been bombarding me with ads, 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 trying to sell me more stuff. So I got off their list of spam. So much safer to buy from Costco because if you buy something from Costco and you're not happy with it, they will give you store credit or refund it for you. And again, the customer can abuse this, but I think it's more fair for Costco to do this and Costco makes a profit so they can afford to do that. But if I had bought this mattress at Costco, I'm sure they would have given me a refund or store credit or an exchange for a new fresh clean mattress. But what I have to do now to take care of this foam mattress that I regret buying, it also smelled bad for a week. It had this off gas plastic chemical smell that was awful and I didn't like it. I should have known then that it was a bad mattress. So if you get one of those plastic foam fold up mattresses, it doesn't breathe. Better to get something made out of a more natural fabric or material like cotton or whatever they make other mattresses that breathe out of. This new technology is not always the best. It's convenient because you can roll it up easier to tr move and transport. It's lightweight and all that, but it doesn't breathe. So I'm going to have to make to maintain my mattress and keep it clean and dry and fresh every day. Because for the first few weeks that I had it, which I should, I had an intuition that I should air it out every day. And I was right. That's what I should do every single day. As soon as it dries out, I am going to every morning when I wake up, lift it up and lean it against the wall so it airs out. Take the sheet off and let it air out. That's what I'm going to do every single day to maintain it, to keep it clean. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to throw it in a dumpster or give it to a homeless person that would be happy to have anything to sleep on, even if it's moldy. But I wouldn't even want to give a moldy mattress to a homeless person. But I suppose if a homeless person was desperate enough, they would want to sleep on a moldy mattress that's better than sleeping on no padding at all. Just wanted to share that. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring in Seattle. Not happy with my mattress firm purchase. Wish that they would give me store credit or exchange it for a clean mattress. And even if they gave, the best thing would be if they just gave me a refund, $300. But I would also be happy if they would give me a new clean mattress and then I will air it out every day to prevent the new mattress from getting moldy. Again, my old mattress I had for 10 years and it never got moldy and I treated it exactly the same. I encased it in a fabric sealed fabric cover, whatever you call it, a protective cover to keep it clean and dry and fresh. And then I wash that every once in a while. Just wanted to share that. Thank you.